Hello mates, and welcome back to another episode of Grizzly Gearhead. Today I come to you from a very dangerous and secluded part of the world. A place so remote, no one can find it. My backyard. So I'm at my office right now, and for the last month or so, there's been this major issue with these two falcons that just perched themselves on uh, in our trees. I don't know if you can see it. Right back over there. But it, it just likes to watch, watch you. And then as soon as you take your eyes away, they ambush you. I've already had like four people attacked on our property. I just don't wanna take my eyes away because they'll come after me. So unfortunately with these falcons here, I have to be very cautious of my surroundings. So what are we doing today, Lacey? Um, whatever you tell me. Oh, I love it when she says that. <laughs> so we're gonna be taking the seats out of the GTI and putting them back in. And I'll uh, do a little review while I'm doing that. And then let you guys see how it's done. Hello everybody. Today we are going to be installing the Corbo Sportline S R R S seats. R R S. R R S. Like a pirate. R. What did you say to me? <laughs> I said I hope you enjoyed that tree up your way. What are we doing today? are installing the seats. The Corbo Sportline RRS seats. Oh my god, you did it. I did. I am so proud of her. So, because I'm lazy, I'm only gonna be doing one side. It's exactly the same on both sides though, so you shouldn't really have an issue. Same tools, same seat, same brackets. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're gonna need is your handy dandy ratchet. Yeah. Moving on, we're gonna need an extension, the longest one you have. This next one is optional, but it does help. A go-go gadget flexi joint. And last but definitely not least, a star key or hex shape in the size of T50, also known as T5. When you touch these tools together, they become the wonder tool of justice. Unfortunately, I don't have my stock seats anymore, so I can't show the removal, but when you do remove them, make sure to clean the carpet. I found some really filthy stuff. Is that a Sophia the first sticker? Receipts. More receipts, and what is this? Okay, is that hibachi sauce? I haven't had teppanyaki in like a month. So now that they're out, let's flip them upside down on something soft. Okay, so excuse me for having this swamp ass look. I am sweating profusely. It's like 100 degrees outside. And this is the Corbo bracket. And if you uh, come in close to right here, it says Volkswagen, and it'll tell you which one is which. You have the passenger, and then on the other side, you'll have the driver. So be sure you know which uh, bracket you're putting on which side. It's very important. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that this, uh, this bar is facing the front of the seat. You should put that right on there. Now, one thing to be aware of is these holes don't always line up. You're going to need to hand tighten one side with a bolt and then adjust and manipulate the other side until you can get the other bolt in the hole. And I must admit, getting it in is very difficult because it is so tight. <gasps> it's hot as balls. Okay, so the easiest way to do it is use your extension, it gives you more leverage. You're gonna take the first uh, little bolt that came with your Corbo brackets 
Now one thing to note, it does come with washers, but I don't suggest using them because there's little spaces in between the uh, brackets on the inside and the bolt right here. It's gonna cause uh, some kind of interference there and the, the washer just makes it too tall. Once you put in one of these suckers, you're gonna need an army to put in this next one right here. Cause these bars are not lined up correctly on my bracket at least with the actual holes in the seat. So you have to get somebody or to be super strong and literally pull this in until you can match that in there. And then from there, you just gotta crank it down. Now, after finishing the front, you may realize that the back aren't accessible. And here's how you solve that. All right, now, so what you wanna do to get to those back bolts that are hidden, um, you're gonna have to actually sit on the seat and uh, hit the little lever that's down here, boop, and then just slide. That's it. And now with a little bit of muscle and skill, you can do the exact same thing to the other side. I highly recommend hand tightening each screw in first and then using a ratchet to go back and forth and tighten them both evenly so that one side isn't tighter than the other. Because if you tighten one side too much, the other side won't line up. So apparently the Corbo brackets are supposed to have a place for the seatbelt, but I couldn't figure it out. So what I ended up doing was kind of jerry-rigging it, safely however, to the bolt that's on the side of the seat. It actually fits perfectly with a little bit of grinding, but it's secure. And now that we're done with the bracket, we can put this baby back in the GTI. The easiest way to start, in my opinion, is to hand tighten the screws in a diagonal direction. Front right, rear left, you get it. If you happen to have a flashlight handy, it'll help guide you through that black hole also known as the gap between the seats. Just like with the bracket, it's going to be really hard to get to the back screws unless you sit down and actually move the seat forward. Well, there you have it, folks. I'm exhausted. It's super hot, but we finished. So glad. It is a pretty, not hard, but it does take a lot of work to install these seats, especially by yourself. Um, always recommend someone else being there with you. But man, Corbo, those brackets are tight, bro. Like, shh, whoo. But I guess, you know, they're supposed to be like that. Make sure you stay in the car. But um, as you can see, the, the seats look pretty nice. I think it came out pretty well. I love the seats. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, when I first got the seats, they were very stiff. Um, of course, I was worried at first, but as I um, started driving with them over the next, you know, few weeks to a couple months, I've had them about two months now. Um, 
they soften up. They really do. And not only with the heat, but with you sitting in them, in them, they conform to your body and they get much more comfortable. So don't worry about that when you get your new seats. And I'm sure that applies to many new seats, not just Corbo. Um, you gotta like, break them in. Now I, I love them. I mean, they fit perfectly in the GTI. There's no rubbing on the paneling on the sides. Uh, the seat belt, the seat belt sits pretty well on there. And uh, I mean, it's just, they hug. They hug very nice. And they're low. I mean, uh, I am 5'9", and look how much space I have between my head and the ceiling. So, it's not bad, it's not bad. So you could definitely rock a massive helmet and not have any problems at the track or anywhere else. I do recommend with any racing seat to install a harness bar, which I haven't got around to doing yet, but I will. And of course, racing harness seat belts. So um, those are definitely gonna come because not only do I love the way they look, but I love being held tightly against the seat. And these seat belts, no matter how much I tug and pull on them, they do not keep me as tight to the seat as I would like them to, especially when making um, fast turns. Not that I do that ever on the streets or nothing, you know. I'm sure you guys can see how profusely I'm sweating right now. I'm dying. It's like 200 degrees outside with like 400% humidity. I'm exaggerating, of course. Relax, guys. But it's worth it. I mean, the, the install maybe took 20 minutes, 30 tops. Uh, it's just difficult because I was by myself and the reason being because I started off with the help of my wife uh, She was supposed to record while I did everything and She had to go watch the kids because our babysitter took off uh, so Yeah, ended up by myself again. Yay But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the install it was a pleasure bringing it to you guys and if you guys have any questions, please feel free to um, email me PM me, social media, whatever it may be. I'm here to answer your guys' questions and make your installs and lives easier with my suffering. But yes. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Grizzly Gearhead. Catch you beautiful bastards on the flip side. Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra. <laughs> Avada Kedavra. That's that's nice. I like that. Good job. Shut this up, your ass. <laughs>